Establishing a good cover crop stand will maximize the benefits you will see from your chosen cover crop or cover crop mix. Some of the keys to achieving a good stand is choosing the correct seeding rate, depth, timing, and method. The timing of planting a cover crop will depend on your goals and your chosen cover crop. Summer grass cover crops used for weed suppression must be planted to allow enough time for the cover crop to establish, produce large enough amounts of biomass, and reach maturity before the next cash crop is planted. Winter cover crops should be planted early enough in the fall to allow the cover crop to establish before the plants enter winter dormancy. Cool season grasses must undergo a chilling period called vernalization before they will become reproductive and elongate. For this reason, cool season grasses must be established in the fall and not the spring for optimum biomass production. If legume cover crops are going to be relied on for a nitrogen credit, they should be planted with enough time to produce adequate biomass to meet the planned nitrogen needs. If only quick soil cover is needed between winter and summer cash crops, cover crops can be planted whenever the soil and air temperatures are conducive to seed germination. Quick maturing buckwheat is a good example of a cover that can be used in short periods between cash crops. Good soil moisture at planting and in the days following will ensure good seed germination and plant development regardless of the season of establishment. There are two primary methods of seeding cover crops, drilling and broadcasting. Drilling generally results in a more even stand and requires lower seeding rates, but may require specialized equipment. Time should be spent calibrating the drill to ensure appropriate seeding depth and seeding rates. Broadcasting may result in a more uneven stand and requires higher seeding rates than drilling, but can be done with basic equipment or even by hand on small areas. After broadcasting, large seeded cover crops will need to be disked, raked, or pressed into the soil to ensure they are placed at the correct soil depth. For both methods, proper seed depth placement is critical for good germination. Large seeded covers like peas will have to be placed at close to one to two inches deep, while mustards can be pressed into the soil surface. When seeding cover crop mixes, care should be taken to ensure adequate placement of the various seed sizes in the mix and that different species are evenly placed across the field. Seeding rates should be adjusted based on seeding method and desired cover crop use. Higher grass seeding rates means greater competition between plants and results in thinner stems and smaller plants. Lower seeding rates results in less competition between plants and thicker stems. <laughs>